Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Sabrina and I make pottery here on this channel. And today I'm going to be trying to throw a pot while wearing a blindfold. So if that sounds like an exciting time, you can keep on watching and don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it. And you can also subscribe to my channel for more pottery related content. I also just wanna say sorry this video took so long to get out. I know in my last video I told you guys that my camera broke and then I got that fixed. And within a few days of getting my camera back, my laptop started giving me all sorts of weird issues. And I tried to tell myself that it wasn't that bad and I wasn't going to have to buy a new one. But it turns out that it was that bad and I did have to buy a new one. So this video is brought to you by my new laptop. Except not really because that makes it sound like I didn't just have to buy a new laptop. And I most certainly did, but that's besides the point. The point is that this video is going to be really good and it's going to be a fun time and hopefully you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed giving it a go. And I also wanted to say I tried to film an intro when I first filmed the video, which was a few weeks ago, as you can probably tell by my roots being grown out. Um, but all I had really filmed was what my wheel setup looked like. So I had a bucket in front of me with water and a sponge and a pin tool and a wire tool that were just set in front of me. So I kind of had to like feel around to find things. So yeah, um, yeah. without further ado, let's get into this video and yeah, let's do it. So, there's that. I can't see. All right, here we go. Oh, my wheel is off, okay. There we go. I just gotta adjust my stool. Okay, oh, I got a ring on, that's, okay. All right, now I'm ready to go. So this is my second time filming this video, actually. Um, it's kind of a funny story, I guess. I don't know. So a couple days ago, I was here. I'm at the studio that I work at. So um, I don't really have a home studio that I'm working out of anymore, which is a long story, I guess. And I don't know. Not one to tell today. So I'm here at the studio that I work at. And a couple days ago, I was here trying to film this video. And the studio was closed, and I was like, yeah, no one's probably going to show up, because why would they? It's closed. Um, the only people that could get in are the other instructors, and like, why would they show up? Um, and I was like a little paranoid that someone was going to walk in, because like, here I am sitting with a blindfold on, filming myself. There's a lot of weird things going on. So, yeah. And so here I was, sitting, throwing, it was going pretty well, I was feeling really good, it was fun, and then I hear, like, a noise upstairs, and I'm like, oh, there's, there's a door. Um, and so I take off my mask, or my blindfold, and, you know, I look and see, and someone's coming down the stairs, and I just, like, really quickly try and make everything look kind of normal again, and, you know, then it was another instructor, she came, came and hung out for a couple hours. Which was nice and all, but I was kind of irritated because I didn't get to finish my video. And it was also irritating because even if no one had walked in, uh, my camera ran out of memory, the SD card did, so it stopped filming at some point anyways. So today I made sure to clear some space out. I've got a full battery. It's nighttime now, um, and usually no one really comes to the studio at nighttime. So, because all the other instructors are, you know, they're just a couple decades older than me, but it's fine. So, I'm assuming I'll be okay. I don't know. There's also kind of the, the fear that I'll just get murdered, which is probably unlikely, but you never know. This would be a really bad way to go. So, anyways, I just thought I would tell you that story real quick while I'm centered. I'm 
feeling pretty good, so. I'm still, like, kind of paranoid that someone's gonna walk in, though. But... I don't know. The kilns are going right now, too, so I think that's kind of sounding weird. I don't know. done this once before. I haven't completely thrown a pot blindfolded though. Like last time I took off my blindfold and just, you know, threw it the normal way. But this time I'm gonna try and wear it off and set it on that bat. Well, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I thought this would be a really fun challenge. I'm sure other people have tried to do this before. I haven't checked. I probably will after filming this, but yeah, a lot of pottery is just touch and like feeling. And so I've always kind of thought that I could do it blindfolded if I tried. It's just, I don't know, it's just, and I think doing anything blindfolded as opposed to not blindfolded, two very different experiences. I feel like maybe throwing blindfolded will make me faster in the long run too, so maybe I'll just always practice like this. Alright, this is kind of the hard part, I would say, is checking thickness. Okay, I think it's about, it's about there. I'm sure you can't see that, but it's about like a quarter of an inch, so I think it's, it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna attempt to measure how wide it is. It's like... My finger. It's like pretty decently wide. Okay. Well, I'm okay with that. So I'm just gonna use the sponge and make sure that the inside is really nice and compressed. And do that. That feels good. So now we're just gonna start to do our like my hair. It's kind of red now at this point in time. For some reason the orange dye that I use is like very red for about a week and then it starts to kind of fade to the orange that I am attempting to get. So that's pretty fun. Yeah last time I tried to film this I, I hadn't gotten it done yet so you guys would have had to just look at my my roots and all that. It's been horrible. that I'm using is it's the studio clay we use here at my my studio of employment but I don't know I think they got it from like Great Lakes Clay Company or something like that but they are no longer in business if I just, just gouged it with my pinky I don't know yeah, so they're no longer like making this kind of clay, but we have a bunch that we reclaimed. So now we're using this. We have like two or three clays going around in the studio right now, which is always so fun. But I like this kind. It's a little bit groggy, but it's not really that soft. You know, like it, it is, but um, it's not super like gunky, I guess. We were using a stoneware from Continental Clay for a while, and it just was really moist, very moist, and some people really liked that, like a lot of my older students really enjoyed that because it's kind of hard for them to use their hands for some things, and so I guess the clay being a little softer helped them with that. I got used to it after a while, it's just, yeah, I don't know. I haven't thrown with this clay in a while, so that's kind of exciting. And I believe we will be switching to Laguna's B-Mix, which if you guys have seen any videos of mine, then you know your girl likes Laguna. I kind of hope maybe 
someday they'll they'll see this and they'll hit a girl up. But for now, for now they're not. That's okay. That's alright. It's fine. I feel like this pot is narrow. Like I feel like it's not wide enough, and I'm kind of trying when I'm pulling to round it out, and I don't really know what it's looking. I don't really know how tall it is, but I know that my walls are getting to a point that I'm gonna be alright with. Ooh, it, there's a there's a curve here. I don't know if I like it though. I think we could do like one more. You know what would be terrifying is if someone was standing right next to me now. I don't know why I'm so scared. It's almost Halloween. By that I mean it's like a month away, but it's almost Halloween. I'm really excited. I'm gonna make some Halloween themed videos and pots and fun stuff and I think it'll be a good time. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure to subscribe if you feel like it. You don't have to. You can. because I honestly feel like after having thrown two pots blindfolded, I feel like, I don't want to say it's easier, but I, I don't know, I feel like I don't get it knocked off center as much, probably because I'm being very careful about all of my movements, being, like, I don't know where the clay is, I can only assume, so I have to be very careful not to disturb it.
done pulling, I think. I guess. Nah, I, I lied. I just lied to you right now. I'm pulling right now. So. Alright, that's fine. I feel like I have a lot of texture on the outside, and I don't really love that. I think the base is probably a little narrow. No, it feels okay. And then we've got a little curve going on. And then it kind of goes straight up or maybe inwards a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have a vision for this pot. I'm going to just, just going to ask it what it wants from me. By that I mean I'm gonna do the only thing I know how to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I have noticed I do have a few different shapes that I tend to resort to. That's actually pretty okay. Get your hand in there for the most part. I always like to make sure you can get your hand into a mug just so if you wash it, which you probably should. You, know, you don't need to have a fancy sponge handle thing. You can just use your hand in like a washcloth or something. That's how I like to do my dishes. See, I'm now realizing one of the tools I did forget to get is the little wooden angled tool because I like to use that. Kind of cut this bottom part off. Cut the skirt off. I think they call it the skirt. And then I'll just give it one last a little smooth. I think we got some good. try and kind of bevel this one more time. Just helps to lift the pot off. Alright, that'll do. I think the bat is over here. So I'm just going to put the bat. Actually, my bucket's here. Where's my bucket? Okay. moving or if it's done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just one more for good luck.
pot is here, we'll just tilt it up. Oh, it fell a little bit. I don't know. I can't see it. I can't see it. I don't know if it's in frame. Here, I'll hold it right in front of my face. It's squished. I think it's squished a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be totally fine. I'm gonna take off my blindfold now. That's not so bad at all. My hair looks so good. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Okay, there's a lot of sludge on the inside. I will say, I did forget to clean the inside out. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at him, yeah. It did get a little unround, um, so I'll probably fix that. But yeah, overall, I would say not a bad attempt. I'm just glad I got it off the wheel. I think that's the impressive part. Throwing it was easy, that part was not. So. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you had an enjoyable time watching me throw with a blindfold on. Uh, I thought it was kind of fun. It took me twice as long as it usually would, but, you know. That's alright. We got a pot off the wheel, and I think that is great, so... Thank you again for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And you can also subscribe for more pottery related content. And yeah, have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you, bye.